Guts and Black Powder is a Napoleonic era first person shooter game like Blood and Iron. However, there is a twist. There are zombies, and they're fast. You won't get a chance to reload a whole musket or build a whole encampment when the zombies are ready to swarm you at a moment's notice. You have to heavily rely on teamwork to get around and clear out swarms of zombies. If you're looking for a single player game, get out. This game is unplayable in single player. However, if you want a fun multiplayer experience, this is the game for you. In this game, you have two game modes, Objective and Endless. In Endless, you basically play COD zombies with muskets. Objective mode is pretty much campaign mode, where you have to go around to different maps and complete lots of tasks. Now, with muskets, bayonets, sabers, and hatchets, you may be wondering, what am I supposed to do in this situation? There's no full auto AR-15, no Glock 17, not even an M1911. How am I supposed to fight zombies with muskets and blunderbusses? Well, you don't. The primary way of combat is through melee. However, the ancient guns can still be useful. For example, there are a couple of zombie types, including ones holding barrels of black powder that explode. I hate these zombies. But thankfully, with the muskets, you can shoot them from afar and blow up the zombies around them. Like, it's crazy, muskets actually being useful in the zombie apocalypse? Now, the use of guns is actually a tactical decision to be decided on. For example, you're at a road full of zombies that haven't seen you. Do you waste a couple of minutes shooting every zombie with the painstaking reload, or do you risk it all and rush them? Guess which one I chose. I cannot stress how many times I have died because we decided to rush forward instead of hanging back and sniping them. Now, don't think these are the only strategies, because there are more. For example, one teammate can become a sapper and build an encampment while you hold zombies off. This can be a great strategy because a whole horde can get stuck behind a single wall. Be careful though, if a bomber zombie gets near your defense, best abandon it before your defenses are blown to bits. On the topic of classes, I'm going to explore the classes of this game a little bit more thoroughly. Before I get onto the classes, please consider clicking the link in the description below. You will be able to get great deals on great games, and you will be able to support my channel. There are six main classes, Line Infantry, Officer, Seaman, Musician, Surgeon, and Sapper. Line Infantry has a long musket rifle with a bayonet on the end. The Officer has a faster reloading musket pistol that has shorter range than the Infantry. They also have a charge ability, which makes any player near them run very fast and melee very fast. The Musician has a flute that when played increases nearby reload speed, the Surgeon is equipped with bandages to heal people, and the Sapper is equipped with a hatchet and a hammer to build walls and spikes to protect themselves. There is also one extra class, the Chaplain, which has a crucifix, a stake, and a blessing. The crucifix will scare off zombies, the blessing will cure people of the infection, and the stake is a melee weapon. There are five zombie variants. Shambler, literal normal zombie. Runner, literal fast zombie. Sapper, a sapper transformed into a zombie that can use its axe to one-shot you. And Bomber. I hate bombers. They end all of my runs. There's also one rare zombie called Igniter, which I've only encountered once before being blown up by a bomber. But from what I read on the wiki, they have devastating damage, but die easily. In conclusion, there are so many things that I may have missed just because of the sheer detail in this game. However, the main message is that Guts and Black Powder is a great game to play with friends, so go ahead and give it a try and you might get hooked. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you have an idea for a video I should make in the future, let me know in the comments below.